Hello and welcome to this special presentation on NDTV. Now in the opposition space, a lot of movements are taking place where many political parties are trying different formations. But there is one very interesting thing that happened last weekend. This is not a political setup, but it is a forum. It's called Insaf Ke Sipahi. And what exactly does this forum want to do? And can it achieve something as far as uniting the opposition forces are concerned? I have with me the chief architect of Insaf Ke Sipahi, Mr. Kapil Sibal. Thank you very much for speaking to NDTV. Uh, Mr. Sibal, can you explain what this is? Sepoys of justice. What does this mean? First of all, the platform is Insaf. Right? Insaf Ke Sipahi are part of the platform of Insaf. Because the kind of injustices that we are seeing uh, at every level uh, of the societal structure, uh, where people have no voice, so the insaf ke sipahi at every level of that structure will now have a voice because they can actually register as insaf ke sipahi. But more important than that, it's something that I said the other day as well, that lawyers have always been at the forefront of change. Right? We are Indian independence movement, we are that, um, Mahatma Gandhi himself, Nehru Ji, Sadar Patel, Lada Lajpat Rai, any number of lawyers who have you know, been at the forefront of the movement. Now, lawyers are silent in India. And I wonder why. Uh, so, if lawyers want to be the catalyst for change, and we need change in this country. You know, it's not about a government. You need a change of vision, right? A change of how you bring about prosperity amongst the most poor in this country. A change of how you need to educate your children. How healthcare should reach our people. This is not about Modi or anti-Modi. It's about the, the country taking a wrong course in its march towards the future. And this forum is about that. But uh, obviously this has to do with the present dispensation. Because even in your press conference, you mentioned the injustice being done under this regime and also by uh, affiliate parent organizations. So in that context, do you feel that this could be a good platform for the opposition players to come together and be a part of this? Absolutely. That's, the purpose. So that's part of the purpose. Yes, that's part of the purpose. Remember. Who can oppose Insa? Even Narendra Modi ji can't oppose Insa. Right? <laughs> Is that an invitation to him? To join why, your why not? Why not? Hmm. Let's start doing Insa and stop doing injustice. Hmm. My invitation to him. But be that as it may. Who can oppose it? And what does Insa mean? I'll give you a small example. First of all, I'm a human being. I'm an insan. Right? Then I'm a Nagarik. Then I am a Hindu. Then I am a Brahmin. Right? And then I am rich. Right? So, who are you first and in time? The state must treat every individual as an in time. Not that he is scheduled car, scheduled child. The moment we put that stamp on him, and we start, you know, you can see the perpetration of violence because you don't look at people as insan. You don't look at people as nagrik. You look at people as belonging to this religion, that religion, this yasi, that yasi. So, Mr. Sibyl, did this not always exist? Are you saying that this is all a creation post-2014? No, no. It is part of our society structure, which is what we need to change. Instead, of, we've been walking along this path for too long. And what since 2014, it's become much worse. You see the kind of violence, not just in terms of physical violence, but violence in words, the kind of abuse that's going on, the hate speech, the venom, and then that perpetrates violence, the inability of institutions to stop this. We need to stop all this. That's the purpose of this battle. So uh, now that you say that this... Uh, uh, in that context is a political movement also and you wouldn't mind political parties coming together on this platform. Do you feel that you can be that uh, all important political social glue for uh, opposition parties to come together? This is not my objective at all. 
more all important, less important, more important. That's not the objective. The important is importance is that we need to change the way we are functioning as a state, right? And we, and if you see, Modi has done some good things in life. Not that everything that Modi has done. Every administration does some great things, right? Uh, but at the same time, if we are taking a wrong course to the future, it may actually uh, result in, in great injustice. And we need, we need to stop that. Uh, post this announcement on Saturday, I see that a lot of uh, political parties have welcomed it. For instance, uh, you were the Aam Admi Party, the Congress, Shirumani Akali Dal, uh, which was part of the NDA up until uh, a few years ago. Uh, many other players also. Akhilesh. Uh, Akhilesh Yadav. Tejasvi. Yeah. Right. Uh, our Bhupesh Baghel. Yeah. The, the left chief minister in, exactly. in, in Kerala. So do you feel that, uh, and, and many of these players have had inhibitions about one another, which is a great hindrance for opposition unity. You know this big exercise going on to get opposition. Do you feel your forum can be that glue? That's why I asked this question. How can there be a hindrance against Inta? Mm -hmm. Who can oppose it? Right? You may want different kinds of insaf, right? depending on your vision of insaf. But insaf is, is, a, is a glue which will connect every citizen. So do you think that the fact that you are a, a lawyer who wants to exact change, uh, the fact that there is insaf right in the name of your forum can get opposition parties together who have traditionally kept away from one another? As I said, this is not, uh, this is not that I, I, I don't want anything out of politics. What I want is for parties to start thinking that we need to change the system, right? For example, if we say in our preamble that we want justice, social, economic and political, are we getting political justice? Lalu just gets raided, right? He has had a transplant of a kidney, right? He has undergone so much uh, difficulty, uh, I think personally, uh, un un unfairly. And now you know that the justice is, 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 is being with, with, with the end, with JDU, and you want to pressurize him, and the CBI is acting as the interest of the government. So what kind of political stuff is this? Have they ever raided their own ministers in any BJP, BJP state, right? Despite the fact that crores and crores were found in several states which had, which had direct links with the party. Are you calling this uh, CBI questioning that is happening today at Ravi Devi's residence as uh, uh, injustice? It's complete, complete. I mean, in the sense, why, why suddenly now? This is something they discovered now, right? The Eureka, suddenly they find that the elections are coming in. Before 2024, we must destabilize that alliance that has taken place between I mean, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Uh, here is a uh, an ongoing investigation where they want to continue with their investigation. Well, who says don't continue with your investigation, but the timing is relevant. And what are you going to get out of Laliji today? He's a sick man. What are you trying to achieve? Ultimately, tell me, what are you going to get from Laliji? Ultimately, you'll charge him. Huh? Uh, let's assume you'll charge him. How long will the trial take? How sick is he? Right, from any and what will come out of it, God alone knows. So, and this is not happening for the first time. They are targeting every opposition leader, and whichever opposition leader who was with the opposition comes onto their side, and who was previously being investigated is not investigated anymore. You know, have examples in West Bengal. You have examples in in Assam. You've got examples everywhere else in the country. So, so it's, 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 it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Which is why I come and back. Social to justice. Yeah. Economic justice. I mean, which country in the world are assets owned by one or two persons? I mean, it's unbelievable. No, which is why I come back to the point of uh, uh, 11th of March, I presume, uh, you're going to hold a meeting of Insaf Ke Sepahi. Uh, who do you feel and how many people do you feel should, uh, uh, at least from the political... See, change can be exacted by uh, lawyers as well as politicians. You can bring about political change also. I'm sure that is in the ambit of what you want no, to do. No, it's like this. A anybody who wants to come is welcome. Mm. But I don't want to be politics on the platform. Mm. You know what I mean? But the you wouldn't mind want... if people come uh, together. No, I'd love it. Mm. I'd love it. That people come together. All parties agree that this is really the agenda for 2024. 
we want it has to be the agenda for 2020 and in that context you agree that many parties who don't see eye to eye for instance an aam aadmi party a congress we know that so what they are doing to the aam aadmi party to say but the congress does not support them it is not relevant it's not relevant they will do it to the congress they have done it to the congress before they will do it again what are they doing to uh, heman in jharkhand what are they doing to in chatisgarh they are doing it to the congress no to dupe so they are doing it to everybody so anyway whatever it is this is the nature of the beast your forum uh, do you intend to uh, stay on with this cause beyond 2024 also absolutely absolutely actually we we need a new vision for this country a positive vision what should india be like right you know for example we are acche dena forgotten now we are thinking of the amrit kal right now we to achieve amrit kal what do we need to do right we don't don't need to build promise make promises which we cannot achieve right? there is no point in that so now nobody talks about acche din no have you heard prime minister talk about it he doesn't because he knows that they didn't come and and who will be there when amrit kal comes the <laughs> minister prime minister may not be there no it's just all away so this is all selling a dream and the poor always buy the dream okay? india is about 880 crore people 800 million people living on the margin we need to deal with those people the big but you know i'm just curious uh, how exactly do you plan to provide insaf at that at that scale at that level we need to change the institutional structure we need to bring about enormous accountability if somebody defects we need to make sure that he doesn't fight an election for the next five years we have to find the change is that we want that is the insaf i right? remember uh, the bjp's great plan that no government should change in five years huh yeah? once you are elected you should change but they have they have toppled eight governments so how do you fit one with the other no this is all but uh, how do you respond to some who may uh, find this uh, a romantic idea which has germinated in the mind of a lawyer who is also a poet who is who is imagining life the case is all about your man It is the man, yeah, which is why you call the ED uh, the Valentine. Valen- of, the of course, and the, and the CDI is a temporary girlfriend. <laughs> you have to take why do you say that? Con- you have to take the consent of the state. <laughs> so only when you get consent, you sort of. But be that is, it's all about the man. I mean, the French Revolution was based on the man, the American War of Independence. Right? Actually, the history of the world. the history of romance the dream to come true for a new vision right the man in the british actually searching for india crossing the you know uh, ocean to find you know wanting to say where the american continent is isn't it romance not a happy one though for india well, is happy or not happy all progress is based on romance about the uh, the desire for something that is not achievable what is romance so people must romance the idea of removing injustice that's right and believe it thank you very much mr sibul for joining us thank you thank you